Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we have a 2006 Nissan Murano. Uh, it's having an issue with the transmission where it will buck. It'll buck when it's going up a hill. It'll buck when you accelerate. And by bucking, I mean like it doesn't want to go. It kind of it hesitates. It, it, it feels like there's a... Uh, it feels like there, there's something seriously wrong with it. So, uh, we uh, are gonna check the fluid and add as necessary when we come right back. All right, folks, so it's very important to, uh, to use the correct transmission fluid. So this one is a NS2 Nissan CBT fluid. It's $20 a quart, so you gotta be, you gotta be sure that it's, that it's low on fluid. Uh, plus, with any kind of automatic transmission, you don't wanna just add fluid to it because a high fluid level will cause troubles. So, with an Nissan Murano, what we're gonna show you right now is, is the recommended way to check the transmission fluid. It has to be running, has to be on a level surface, and, and you, uh, it has to be warmed up at operating temperature. Ideally, you're gonna wanna use a diagnostic tool to check what the actual temperature is, uh, but this uh, even the even the the owner's manual tells you to take it to the dealer just to check the fluid. So uh, upon doing research and asking the dealer, uh, the way you check it is while running. So we're going to check this in just a second. And all right, so the dipstick is right here. All right, it's warmed up, it's running, and as you can see, actually, let's, let's clean that off. I'm using a piece of paper because I'm gonna use this piece of paper for something else in a second. Okay, so notice something else I did here. I've taken the locking mechanism and I've turned it 180 degrees uh, because this is a normal place where it goes. It locks in right here. Uh, but in order to check it on most models, you're going to want to turn it 180 degrees. That way you can take it out again. Now, if you look at the fluid level, it is at the very bottom of the stick. It's below the last mark. So what we're going to do is we're going to add fluid until it gets to the crosshatch portion, which is right about here where my fingernails at. How do you add it? Well, what we're going to do is the reason why I have this piece of paper is I'm going to turn it into a funnel real quick. Put it in here. All right, then we're going to add our Nissan fluid. I'm going to add a little bit at a time. You're not going to add a lot. I want to overfill this fluid. All right, we'll add about add a little bit more, then we'll check it again. All right, let's see if we're doing any, let's see if we're making any progress. Give it a second. We're going to let it drain into the dipstick tube. We're going to wait about a minute and a half, two minutes. Uh, and we'll check it again. Okay, it's been about two minutes. We're gonna recheck, see if we've uh, improved our fluid level. And we sort of have. We're gonna keep, we're gonna add another little bit. Again, roll up, roll up the piece of paper or something like that. Give it 
it another two minutes to drain, and we're gonna recheck, unless it has to warm it up. All right, it's been about three or four minutes. Let's check it again. We've added about a half a quart. All right, that's more like it. It's exactly, it's right before the top notch. You see the level right about here. We're gonna keep it right about there. So it only needed about a half a quart. Now we're gonna take it for a test drive to see if it fixes it. Actually turn it to where it locks. A lot of you guys will have a lock right here. This one's kind of worn off. Uh, usually it'll lock, but you need a screwdriver to unlock it. But this one will pop off. It's okay. Uh, but anyway, we're going to do a test drive and we're going to see if this fixes the problem.